All right, guys, thank you. Uh, he was wounded in Iraq, and now he is training with the KU track and field team, getting ready for the 2011 Paralympics. He was featured in the documentary Warrior Champions. Courtney Clemens, thank you so much for being here. What a great picture of you there, track and field. And first off, thanks for serving our country. And tell us what happened there in Iraq. Well, I was in Iraq for about a little over 11 and a half months, and um, actually I was getting ready to come back home. Um, a new unit came in and we was just doing a routine patrol. And um, on the way back, we came across a vehicle that was flipped over. Um, and as a medic, I was, you know, told to get out, you know, to help out. Um, just working with the guys for, you know, five to seven minutes. We got ready to get the guy onto the, um, you know, medevac to get him to the hospital. And upon doing so, an ID exploded. Um, uh -huh. And result, I lost my right leg above the knee and we lost three other service members on that day. Wow, three other service members and yes. you lost your, your right leg, wow. Um, so your injury there, um, obviously it prevented you from doing a lot of things, but here it is, you are still gonna compete in a track and field competition at the Paralympics. What was your motivation? Um, I would say um, my motivation was just knowing what I was like before uh, my injury and I was always afraid of failure. So um, I immediately got busy trying to do something. I knew I couldn't do what I used to do, but I knew if I got busy doing something that um, some, I can probably get some good results. What was your life before? Were you very athletic? Yes, I, um, I enjoyed playing football, basketball, um, played football in college at East Mississippi um, Community College and um, joined the, um, the Army a following year after that. Um, I was a little small in size. I was a late, um, I was start to grow later than some of my other um, yeah. some of the other athletes so um, I joined the military and which was great because I became a part of a real big team um, yeah. team has always been a, a big part of my life I felt like if I was you know doing things of you know working together as a team I knew that you know I wasn't being selfish you know yeah. it was one of those things that you know I really enjoyed and mm -hmm. the army was a way for me to you know to be a it. part of one of the yeah. biggest teams in the, in the world do you find your story as an inspiration for so many others out there I mean, I mean we're, we're many of us healthy we have all our limbs and and it's a struggle for us just to get up every day and then we're healthy and have our limbs Yes, I'm very fortunate um, to have this opportunity. Um, I know most people look at it and be like, wow, you know, you yeah. lost your leg, you should feel bitter. But I look at it as an opportunity to, you know, help others. And um, it's just, I feel fortunate. I'm here training with the KU track team. And, and because of the Army Wounded Warrior, um, mm -hmm. education initiative is, is, the, is the main reason why That's I'm true. here. So it's yeah. for me to get to this area and yeah. just get integrated into the community. And everybody's really been helping out. And, yeah. um, and um, it's just been great. How long did it take you to get to this to this point where you're you know confident in your abilities and, and you're going to compete? Yes, um, it took a while. 2008 was the um, first Paralympic Games that I wanted to be a part of, and um, I came up short um, of making the team. So um, this time around, I have a like a great supporting cast. Um, so I'm here training with the KU track team, um, getting a chance to get pushed. Um, yeah. I'm also involved, like I said, with the um, Army Wounded Warrior program, which is also um, an opportunity for me to come here to go to graduate school. So nice. Um, so things are yeah. really looking up for me. I have a lot yeah. of people in my corner. And I have a lot of support. Yeah. You also wrote a book. It's called Amped. Uh, tell us about the book. Um, the book is actually just some of my childhood leading up to um, the games in um, Beijing in 2008. And I get a chance to talk about some of my stories, some of the, you know, some of the people that inspired me, some of the people that helped me along the way, and just some of my struggles. Uh, I know most people see me sitting here on the point, see me sitting here today, and it's like, you know, wow, he just bounced back. But really, I had bad days just like everybody else. Oh, sure. And um, it was just an opportunity for me to tell my story and um, yeah. give back. All righty. Courtney, thank you so much. So he has a book. It's called Amped. And the Paralympics, it's going to be later this month. So we're going to keep an eye on you. Okay. All right. Okay. Keep us posted, and hopefully we'll have you back on the show. Okay. And thank you so much, really, for serving we'll our do. country and uh, for the inspiration that you okay. give to so many. Thanks for Appreciate having me. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. All righty. All right. We'll be right back, everyone. Stay tuned.